Hello again YouTube and I'm back uh, with an update video um, with some conclusions um, that I've reached concerning my micro grid tie inverter that I per recently purchased and installed um, using this particular TED 5002-G uh, software or just simply TED 5000, uh, the energy detective. And using this software, I've come to some, uh, I would pretty much like to say, some definitive conclusions, at, uh, you know, in reference to the question of whether it's uh, beneficial to buy a certified micro grid tie inverter as opposed to buying the cheaper uh, grid tie inverters that you can get off eBay. Um, and you know based on the numbers let me give you the numbers first before I give you my conclusions and the numbers are as follows today uh, at, at peak I generated 0 0.376 0 0.376 kilowatts that is essentially 376 watts of power coming in from a 400 uh, watt panel array and just doing some calculations here uh, we can simply say 376 which is the power that I at peak that I pulled in today divided by the potential of my panels and in, in standard uh, test conditions STC which is 400 watts that's basically saying under ideal conditions I that those panels should generate at least 400 watts and you multiply that by a hundred to get the percentage in whole numbers um, we come up with 94 percent so um, at peak today those panels and that peak it was at 1101 a.m. today um, you can see over here in the corner as far as the recordings so at 1101 my panels or that micro inverter was at uh, was uh, putting power back into my home grid at 94 percent efficiency now but if you look here at the recordings you'll see that on July 4th at some point um, during the day um, you know my panels uh, peaked at um, at 390 watts okay at 390 watts so let's take a look at what 390 watts would give us so 390 watts as as far as the power being brought in uh, f from the micro uh, inverter uh, to my home grid divided by my the potential uh, of my panels and they are positioned in such a way that they're facing due south and at some point during the day that sun is hitting them directly they are angled at, perfectly for this time of the year uh, we multiply that by a hundred to get an overall efficient uh, efficiency in a whole number and we get or, or at least in this case a decimal number and we get 97.5 percent efficiency which was on yesterday uh, July 4th today being July 5th um, you know we got 94 percent now it's a cloudy day still but the Sun kind of peaks in and out from time to time and so uh, you know I like this TED uh, 5000 software because I can I can see when the Sun peaked in and out and I can record uh, you know when it the power peaked uh, and, and at one point uh, and at what point um, so you know to answer the question and the question was again the qu I have to applaud the viewers uh, that posed the questions and and made comments uh, you know for consideration they made it in a very tactful way they made it in in such a way it was non-confrontational it was just simply a question and um, and the question was if we know that those cheap uh, inverters that you can bit that you can buy off of eBay are inefficient for one thing and they're also non-certified uh, which doesn't mean that they don't work but it's just they're non-certified so there is a element of risk when you purchase them and install them in your home um, and with the risk and with the inefficiency uh, that those units um, come with you know is it better to just simply buy a micro inverter that is certified and that you will know gets higher efficiency you know paying a little extra money and you know according to the numbers I would have to say yes it is it is it is more it is more beneficial to buy a certified micro inverter 
okay for a little extra money I say a little extra money not a lot extra but a little extra money um, I think it is more beneficial and and uh, and the numbers according to the at least Ted the energy detective uh, proves my point at 97.5 percent efficiency um, you saw my earlier videos that say that that prove that show that you know I was only getting half of the power from those uh, from those 400 watt panels um, and you can look at other videos on YouTube that will you know with similar uh, grid time inverters or even the other grid time inverters and at best they were getting maybe you know half at least 50 or up to 60 percent efficiency from them and they're paying you you know we were paying you know 150 200 you know 200 bucks for those those units some people may be even paying a little more and for maybe a little extra we can actually get a micro grid time inverter that's certified for one thing uh, it's in it you know certification actually reduces your level of risk okay does it reduce all risk no I mean you know you can't reduce all risk but the thing is it does reduce the level of risk and also you get higher efficiency and it just performs better I don't have a fan on my APS micro grid time inverter it's outside underneath the panels um, it has a thermal rating a very high thermal rating and it can take the heat as long as you don't you know put it in direct sunlight um, and if you install it correctly it should perform fine and according again according to the TED unit 97.5 percent efficiency that's nothing to sneeze at so um, I like to again applaud those that posed a question and for those that have been waiting for an answer the answer is I would suggest that you buy a micro grid tie inverter that is worth the money and um, and you know it's obviously safer um, but it is worth the money to buy something that will actually give you what you expect okay YouTube if you have any questions comments please uh, you know provide them and you know let, let me know what you think um, I invite all questions or comments you know uh, regardless I mean you know as I said you know I even you know I get a troll every now and then I you know trolls give me a good laugh here and there you know we all need to laugh sometimes <laughs> even me um, so anyway thanks a lot YouTube and I uh, hope this helps somebody take care